Hello, my name is Walter Siebert. So many people use climbing equipment, ropes, harnesses, slings. There are climbers, cavers, tree workers, industrial workers, rescuers and normal craftspeople who use it for fall protection. So if you look into the manual, then you see the discard criteria, when to retire the material, when it's dangerous to use it. There is, for example, a product must be retired when it's over 10 years old or when it's been subject to a heavy fall. So there is written, destroy these products to prevent further use. But on the other hand, so many people use their equipment much longer. I know climbers who use 20 years old gear and they fall, they put load on the gear. So does it really fail? Is it really dangerous to use it longer than those 10 years? So what are the real discard criteria? There is obviously a big difference between the theory that is written in the manual and the practice, how long and how people use the material. So my question was, I tried to find out what are the discard criteria based on scientific research? First, I checked literature and accident analysis. I could not find any accident where the material failed due to age. Of course, there were failures of material, but the reasons were uh, wear and tear, sulfur acid from car batteries, uh, melting through when a rope cuts through another rope and of course sharp edges. I built this hydraulic test machine. I can destroy equipment up to 5 tons, 5000 kilos, 50,000 Newton. This machine is for a pull test. This hydraulic cylinder pulls until the material I put in between breaks. And here is a scale where I measure the braking force. This machine is also designed for cycle loading. So here I put 6 kN tension and then I release again and this permanently until the rope fails. With 6 kN we will wait for days. So I increase the power very close to the braking force. Let's say 1400. You can hear the fibers breaking and now we can wait. This will take 140, 150 cycles until it breaks. I designed this test because in the discard criteria is that heavy loads uh, lead to immediate discard and I could not find the re any reason for that. So I mean, this knot will break with 1500 kilos and I cycle load it with 1400 kilos, so very close to the breaking load. You can hear uh, fibers breaking, but I hear 60 cycles now and it doesn't fail. So for me there is no reason to discard a rope only because there is a heavy load on it. I tested several hundred ropes. Of course I tested new ropes for comparison and I tested old ropes. My own ropes are more than 40 years old, my oldest ropes. And this special rope is 60 years old. And I tested the strength in a knot because a knot is the normal use. 
One interesting thing I found out with top ropes. Top ropes are used in a heavy bending load, in a cycle load. And so what I tested it, I took a rope, cut it here and tested the rope strength and it was below 6 kN. Therefore I invented the simulation machine, the top rope simulator. So I built a machine to simulate the bending process, a cycle bending process in a top rope. And this is how it works. So with 80 kilos the rope is pulled through a carabiner. Here I tested in a pulley um, what happens to the rope. Now, after three years of intense research, here are the results. First of all, time is no criterion. Heavy load, heavy falls, load, no criterion. Webbing, do not trust. Top rope, only for top rope. And be aware of acid especially from car batteries, melting, so two ropes in a carabiner is not a good idea when one is still and the other is moving, then heat higher than 100 degrees centigrade, so you can store your equipment in the car, that's not a problem, then wear and tear and sharp edges so I have good news for our planet time is not an issue so we do not need to destroy our equipment only because it's old the second is Heavy load, heavy falls are not a discard criteria. We can use it after a heavy load. And the other things are written here. For further information, you can download my thesis on my homepage. Here is my homepage www.seabed.at or send me an email office at seabed.at. And now, let's go climbing.